say yes yes okay this is it um Allah's rule said give the hijab Allah's rule gave the hijab requirements to some people this is not even a hijab this is just a head cover okay so but the thing is when you have a rule that says to this and you cannot do it for some reasons maybe uh, constraints or maybe because you're not just interested you've broken that rule the the truth remains that that rule has been broken so if i have someone whose uh, hijab is free from the neck hair straight down so that none of our body parts is showing dress is not transparent and all of that stuff she has not broken the rule she's wearing the hijab then there is me wearing this very small one and my body part is still showing i have reduced what i'm supposed to do so I'm, in, I'm less in that regard. Then up to the person who covers just the hair, then to the person who doesn't even cover at all and wears the mini skirt. We've reduced, reduced, reduced to that extent where somebody's not wearing anything at all. So it makes me less of a Muslim. But I can adjust that with my personal character and my person. Um, if I can mold my character to be something that is in line with the Sunnah and the ethics of the Quran, then perhaps Allow me overlook my shortcoming, and then the less would be removed. But that will not be between the, the individual and Allah. But basically, the thing is, facially, physically, when you keep, when you don't do the, the main thing you're supposed to do, or in the way you're supposed to do it, yes, there is a less thing already. So the less is already there. That's how I see it. Okay, I said no. I said yes. Okay, well, I feel, I mean, there are. Different people have different levels of Iman and it always takes a while. I mean, even if you're not wearing your hijab and you're still trying to do like some basic things, yes, it's compulsory, it's mandatory for the ladies to use the hijab. But I feel even if you're not wearing it and you're trying to make efforts or probably you're trying to understand why you should use it, because I feel if you're using the hijab and you don't really understand the whole in depth need for you to do that, then anything can shake you off and it can change your mind any minute and then it's like you then i mean it looks like you're confused or something but i feel even if you're not wearing the hijab or you're making efforts to probably understand why you need to do that i think it's still okay yes okay i said no okay i said yes okay why because um allah has commanded that the women should cover the adornment so before anything else you should be able to have a woman cover your adornment and then you can look at your character and all that although some people would say the ladies that use the hijab they don't have good character and all that but i don't believe that because it should be dependent on your individuality the fact that you use the hijab i mean it means that you're taking a step higher and um, it doesn't make you better than the one that does not use but in that aspect you are better Okay, I think I agree with her also. Allah said we should cover our dominance as Muslim ladies, but mm -hmm. there's no but. Okay, no, 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 okay, no but, sister. Um, okay, some people do not cover their hair, but they are better in other aspects. Okay. First. And also, how about people that their parents do not allow them to use the hijab or something, but you can do other things like. And because Allah said we should obey our parents, you, would you have can. To fulfill that first, nah. But Allah's commandment overrides what our parents But at some point, you still have to do what your parents say. Maybe after you've grown and okay. you can stay on your own, your hair, then it, became, it becomes a problem. Like if you don't cover your hair. But some people, for some people also, it's not easy yes. to cover their hair. It's not. Because if you look at the old characteristics of the hijab as described in the Quran, I mean, this might just seem like a piece of clothes. But you know, we're making attempts, everybody's trying to, you know, just make it work as if you use the job. Now let me make it easy. Alhamdulillah, salatu wassalam ala rasulullah. This is very important, especially considering the, the trend now and the time that we, we live in. But one thing we ask is, do you believe in the Quran? So, if you believe in the Quran, as what? You know, the book Quran, is a divine scripture as the word of our Lord Allah who created us. 
So the Quran contains this word, its instructions and commandments. Does Quran talk about hijab? Yes, it does talk about it. One hijab means a covering, a veil, something that veils your beauty or veils your your body. No, the way Allah looks at men and women, we are not the same way. We all know that the body of a man is not like the body of a of a woman. This is what attracts a man to a woman. So because of the of the body. So in order to avoid fitna and also to check our relationship, so that it won't be like a you know it won't lead to a kind of a sexual sexual chaos as we find amongst animals. Allah has regulated everything among us. Allah wants us to live honorably. So Quran has now given women dress code. For example, in Quran chapter 24, that's what to know, verse 31. Allah says that وَقُلِ الْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَقْرُدْنَ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِنْ وَيَحْفَظْنَ فُرُجَهُنْ وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنْ Muslim women tell them, O oh, Messenger of Allah, they should lower their gaze and they should pro protect their chastity. وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنْ They should not expose their beauty. This beauty comes in two ways. One, their body itself, itself is beauty. Then their beautification, the ornaments they wear. So which means the clothing, and their ornaments must not be exposed. You yourself ask yourself, what do you stand for? Are you here for people or you are here for Allah? Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi. You don't say it only when a person dies. So it means inna lillah, we belong to Allah. So if you know you belong to him, then do whatever he asks you to do. You don't even belong to people, so leave them alone. Allah will make it easy for us. Allah make us better Muslims. Subhanakallah, wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Okay, so having after met with the Imam, it has shed more light on the issues that we have discussed previously and um, it has not it has changed i mean a bit of the perspective about a few of the questions although there were few things from the quran which we already know but um it has just helped us to give better answers to the questions with regards to hijab and the muslim but I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it easy for every one of us. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Uh -huh.